Hi everyone, it's Lady Rose of Goddess Garage here. I'm hoping that I'm in the right frame here, but uh, I'm doing one of the videos that I do of amazing people I know, and the person I'm featuring today is the amazing Sarah Wynn. She is uh, an amazing artist, and I know I'm using amazing way too much, but <laughs> I'm just really, really happy to have her here um, because she's actually done a portrait of me and she's done so many other pieces and I follow her on Facebook and Instagram and I encourage you to do the same. I will put the links of course below uh, in the description of the video so you can find her as well. And we're going to look at some of her art. So the first thing we're gonna look at because I'm self-centered is my portrait. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the portrait that Sarah did of me. Amazing, right? <laughs> <laughs> and here's the amazing Sarah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I love my portrait. A lot of people have complimented uh, me on the portrait, saying it looks a lot like me. So good, good. Rent. And you picked up so many great details, you know, um, right down to, you know, my cards and the way I hold my hands and everything, just lots of detail. So what got, you did a lot of portraits of a lot of different women locally. Mm -hmm. So what drew you to do this series of portraits? I did, um, uh, had a, a show that COVID canceled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, uh, it was called, uh, Can You See Me? And basically what it was, was it, it was, um, I wanted to people to, see the person behind the stereotype right, right. so um this one was called urban witch and okay. um, um very nice so i wanted to show the person like people think of witch or like you know that kind of thing is somebody has got a big long nose or long hair or warts, what, all warts all or whatever <laughs> or wears a lot of black or whatever um um uh, what the person is behind. And so basically I, I just took a whole bunch of photographs and I picked out things that I, I thought would would resonate as to the difference, like the differences that, of the, like the person who is, right? Mm -hmm. um, in your, in your uh, parlor, there's the, the um, Mother Mary? Yeah. I guess it is. Yeah, Virgin um, Mary, she, yeah. Yeah, she, um, she's in the corner, and I didn't realize until after I painted it that it's something really special for you. Yeah, it that is. it was from your mother, I think? Yes, yeah, yeah, it was my mother's, yes. Right. And I, I'm very dedicated to the Virgin Mary as, yeah. um, you know, a, a, one of the goddesses that I recognize. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I love that you, again, you picked up on those details because I wasn't expecting that to come into the picture, yeah. but you came in and you took a bunch of photos of me and you were so good at picking up all the little details. And the cards, that is just funny because they weren't there on the table, right. but they're the, the same cards that I have. <laughs> so I said, well, that's the card she's going to get, right? <laughs> and then they find out, I find out that they're, that they're your working cards. Yeah, exactly. So it just worked out. Perfect. It was meant to be, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, so you're very involved in a lot of shows you've got. Uh, I followed your 100 Eye project. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun because every day she put up a new picture of an eye that she drew and then she collaged them at the end, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so this is. This is the 100 Day. The 100 project. Day Eye project. Yeah. You should definitely go to. You put it on Instagram too, right? That's right. Okay. So it's on Instagram as well. Um, you should definitely go there and just look at it because she came up with some really interesting ways of looking at eyes so pick out some of the favorites you had there because you were getting very creative ribeye ribeye there you go <laughs> eyes on the road eyes on the road yes i remember that one <laughs> um potato eye you know. potato eyes snake yes. eyes oh yeah snake eyes with the dice there yeah um eyelet 
eyelet. Uh, so it wasn't all eyeballs necessarily. No, no it, was, it was to do with the word um, turning a blind eye. Turning a blind eye, oh, I like that one. Yeah, cool. Eye through the needle, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I've been doing a lot of that lately. Yeah. <laughs> with my cross stitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what's this guy up here beside the eagle? What's that? This guy here? Yeah. It's just this, um, it's a plant. Oh. Uh, some sort of eye plant. Okay. I, I awesome. can't remember exactly. <laughs> yeah. I have the storm Del there. Um, Double eyes, or uh, four eyes. Okay. Four eyes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. There's all kinds of different ones. There so, are, yeah. Like the trees, the tree yeah. eyes. Tree eyes. Button eye. <laughs> Button eye. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Yeah. Eyes in the back of your head, right above button eyes there. Yeah. Because <laughs> you yeah. came up with creative eye names. Eye of the storm. Yeah. Eye of the storm there, yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun following you on that particular project. And mm -hmm. I got more excited as you got closer and closer to the end. Because 100 days is a lot of days to yeah. be doing something. Well, it was something to do during um, <laughs> COVID. That's true. Down. Yeah. Um, though I did it last year as well. So last year I did it, and uh, it was a hundred day project. Um, they were all five by sevens. Okay. And I did one a day. Oh, okay. For a like hundred days. Wow. And so then this turned into I made it into a book. Very nice. So I might do another book. Um, uh, this one. Okay. And um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And is this book available for sale? Yep. Okay. It is. It's $40. Okay. Um, it's a, a really well made. Mm -hmm. um, it's printed in, in Canada. Okay. So that's a bonus as well. Yeah. Um, and this is, uh, yeah. So these are all of the, the paintings. And the, the pictures are really close. I should have brought a couple of those. Um, the pictures are, are almost immediate, are exactly the same as the print. The print. Oh, okay. So you still got some of these pictures available for sale too, if someone wanted to yeah, buy one. Yeah, I do together. have some. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I have some at, what's Andrea's place called? Uh, Angelic? Serendipity. Serendipity. Yeah, Angelic and Serendipity. I have some at home. Okay. Um. Where else? I think that's it for the small guys. Okay. I have paintings all over the place. <laughs> I know. I've, I've seen your background sometimes. <laughs> it's like, yes, yeah. lots of paintings. Um, but I have uh, have paintings at Fem Inc. Okay. Um, you have to go by um, appointment. There's a painting in the front window at... Um, what's it called? Uh, something Pro, Barrett's Pro okay. Office and Art Supplies. It's right on Front Street as well. In Belleville. Um, I have a couple of paintings, oh, small paintings, at um, the BAA, which is the uh, Belleville Business Association or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I just took this out of the the. Um, Quack, which the quack, which is, yeah, which is what we call it. Um, it's the Quinty Art Fast um, Council. Oh, okay, very mm -hmm. nice. And you're a member of that council. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And this is the book that they do, which is Umbrella. Okay. It's every every, I think it's for each season. Okay, yeah, so once a season it comes out. So I'm can... in here. You've been featured a, a few times anyways. Yeah. There you are, yes. And then here, uh, this is, yeah. Oh, that's your painting there? That's awesome. my painting during this show. Excellent. And then this one, which is kind of weird. A lot of people think this one's mine, but it's not. Oh, okay. It's but very, it looks very similar. Yeah, <laughs> it's your style, yeah. But this was me. Okay, okay, um, cool. And uh, that was for COVID. COVID issue, right. capture the isolation, that's mean. Um, basically what that one was about uh, was uh, coming through a tunnel, seeing the bright light at the end, but 
but seeing all the colors and everything and, and but it was the black and stuff so it's really stark but not stark but I wanted to be kind of um, like lots of black right yeah. so you were but kind you of still, going ah yeah you know like angst exactly but you yeah. still in, in, incorporate a lot of color yeah as well yeah but yeah I, I can see where it's like okay I want to get out of this tunnel now yeah <laughs> I'm done <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah but um yeah, yeah so these are all umbrellas okay um, which is all coming from that the Quinty Art Festival okay um this is the local newspaper yeah. um there's one of mine in there oh nice and uh then these two down here are mine as well oh i think i recognize those lips i think i've seen that <laughs> <laughs> and um this is for uh for the um it was for any every everyone under the rainbow rainbow sorry yeah, okay. um it's about uh it, it's for for the lgbt whatever it is called. okay i i always forget all the the letters letters <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it was for it oh, was for nice. face, um the rainbow face and that kind of stuff right these were just uh um a fun thing that i did they're all these old uh um postcards, postcards okay and i just painted on the back oh nice to, just because uh, there is actually, um, see, there's another one. Okay, yeah. Um, and this one as well. Let me see what this one is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ontario. Ontario. Um, I, I did a couple of things where I was, uh, what is it called? It's, a, it's, you take, like, everybody, a, a bunch of people do. Like a collaborative? Art, and then they, they shuffle it all up and everybody gets a Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Very um, nice. Artist trading cards, that's what it was. Oh, okay. So these ones were, we were supposed to do something, I think 12, but three people um, dropped out. Oh, so okay. I ended up having extras. <laughs> so, yeah. But those are, that's the kind of stuff that I like to do as well. Excellent. The graphic kind of thing. Yeah. That's this awesome. one over here. And this is your self-portrait over yeah. here. Yeah, that one is my self-portrait. Very nice. Yeah, one of my self-portraits. I have lots of self-portraits. <laughs> I realized that I have a lot of self-portraits, which is kind of weird. But anyway, I guess, the best subject, I guess I'm the easiest subject to, to manipulate. Right? <laughs> I so, love it. <laughs> and this is another project that I've, I've finished, but um, uh, I've never done this before. And it's, um, I was an illustrator. This is me being an illustrator okay. for a kid's book. Nice. And um, so these are all um, acrylic. Okay. Pictures, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, illustrations mm -hmm. of cats and stuff. It's not really my style of stuff, but at the same time, you can see that it's my stuff. Right. But it's, um, it was, it was, it was different. It was right. a lot different than what I usually do like um but it turned out really well it yeah it looks like a really cool book yeah and, and uh you know, it's, it's available on Amazon and it actually became so it's the uh, story of Max story of Max and it's available on Amazon so I'll put yeah. the link below for that as well yeah and um yeah so it became uh, top seller or whatever when it came out. Oh, nice. So that was kind of cool. That's a nice feather in your cap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I have a lot of feathers in my cap. Right now, I, I um, let's just see what else. Right now, I'm working on two paintings. Um, they have to be ready for Saturday, so <laughs> see. I'll see if I can get it done. I'm, I know I will. Um, I'm mostly done. So... Is that a commission piece? Or? No, it's not for commission. It's actually for um, another art show. Oh, okay. Um, and it's going to be at the, the Parrot Gallery, okay. which is uh, in Belleville. Okay. <laughs> and um, I have done some commission. I should have brought a picture of that. But it, um, I had like a, a cat 
two cats in a window. I did that, which was a commissioned work. Okay. Um, but I. But she 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 said to do it in my style. But in my style, <laughs> the the cat had red ears. Oh, okay. And um, <laughs> because of the sun coming through it. Oh, okay. And she kind of wanted it toned down. Oh, okay. So I had to redo it a little yeah. bit. Right, right. It's still beautiful. Right? Yeah, it's still yeah. my style, but it's not completely. Because right. I, I like to do play, I play with color. Yeah, I like yeah. Color. I like to wear black, and I like to play in color. Yeah. <laughs> well, if anyone sees you on social media, you definitely like to play with color. Yeah. And I love your characters that you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and so how do you come up with some of these ideas? Uh, I, mostly just from life, I guess. I, I don't know, like, I've, I've always been uh, fascinated with eyes. Okay. Um, and I just thought it would be cool to have, like, a whole painting of eyes. But then I changed my mind halfway through and just kind of said, well, eyes, but not just eyes. Yeah. Because I wanted it to be a little bit more, like, you had to think about it. Right, right. Um, I, I, what I want to do, like, I want, like, I'm thinking in my head as to my next show and I think it's going to be a dream show. It's going okay. to be my dreams coming up. Oh. And, um, yeah. <laughs> That'll be even more interesting. <laughs> yeah. My weird dreams. That, yeah. But anyways, yeah, so I'm, I think that that will be my next show. Right. Um, who knows when that'll be because of COVID, but um, get, I have lots of time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So were you one of those little kids that drew on everything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I as a as I was a, a kid, I they definitely my mom and my dad both are artists, um, in different my dad is very realistic. Okay. Um my mom is very um well she yeah, she used to go, she used to paint um, uh, very abstract. Oh, okay. We used to have these big red paintings on the walls in our house, and it's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> right. Or a big black thing with a big V on it with string. Yeah. Like, you know. Anyways, but that, um, that kind of, I'm sort of in the middle. Yeah, you, you know? kind of took the best of both worlds and mash them together because yeah, I don't want to be realistic yeah but I want it to be um, recognizable right right so but I also want it to be kind of um, like I don't know like I mean with like for instance your your portrait I mean it's <laughs> it's pretty uh, realistic Kind of. Oh yeah, a lot yeah. of people have said it's a good likeness of me. Yeah. But they've also commented that there's a lot of color. Yeah. And I tend to be a colorful person, so they're yeah. like, she really picked up on your color, and I'm like, yeah. well, the artist is colorful too. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like your hair and stuff like that. Like, yeah. I to do like strands and mm. strands and this and that. <laughs> like I, I, I'm more like make it look like that, like kind of. I don't know when I paint. Yeah, it's weird. Like I, I'm. It's like I'm. I'm touching your face. Okay. Okay. Is that weird or what? No, anyway, it's your creative process. So. You know, so that's how I, I process things. But nice. I, they a lot of the times. Um, uh, like I'm a really fast painter. A lot of people think that because you're really fast at doing something, that. Um, you shouldn't charge as much or I don't know. Right. It's kind of weird. Um, so I don't really tell people how long it takes me to paint because right. they think that, you know, it should be like a year, <laughs> six months or, you know, and meanwhile, yeah. like I, my, I like to just get it out right? Right. and I'll, I'll get into a painting 
and I'll just keep painting until it's done and then I'll put it up on the wall and then I'll say, oh, no, I gotta do that one thing there. <laughs> and then it's done, right? right? Right, I don't try and overthink things because a lot of times you, you overwork things and it just... Absolutely, that's the artist's trap, right? Like to, a piece is never done according to an artist because there's yeah. always something you can fix or redo yeah. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's, it's good that you've managed, you've, you've created that, your process very efficiently. Mm -hmm. Probably, you know, it helped that you grew up with artists around you. That's right. Um, yeah. So you know how to produce um, quickly and well and efficiently, and you know when to walk away, mm -hmm. which is a huge thing, right? I think also that is with um, age as well. <laughs> okay. Like, I mean, uh, like, you know, like I'm getting close, close to... <laughs> 60. Holy crap. <laughs> Anyways, um, 60 going on 20. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, but I just, it used to be more important for me to uh, find people's, um, like, that they liked it or they, they you know, uh, approval, I guess the word is. Right, yeah. Now it's like, does that make me feel good? That's good. Right, right, right. So I think age is kind of, that's you know, that's amazing. how it's sort of like how I am Yeah. anymore. I'm just like, okay, you know, you either like me or don't, I don't care. But at the same time, I hope you like me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's always nicer to be liked. Yeah. But it's really great that you've been able to step into the artist who you really are. Yeah. And you're creating more for yourself, which yeah. then translates to people going, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, and they share in the experience with you. Yeah. So that's awesome. I love that. I love yeah. that. And it's funny how we have to get older to realize that. <laughs> how, I know. Like, I mean, when you're uh, in high school or something, it's all about who, you know, how you fit in and yeah. all that kind of stuff. And yeah. I don't fit in a box. I never have. <laughs> um, I made my own box, and it's kind of like shaped like a... Your shape. <laughs> it's part of what makes you amazing. <laughs> I hope so. But um, yeah, like for instance, like this guy here, you know, mm -hmm. like I mean, yeah, it's me. It was I. I got her to take a picture of me on this couch. Okay. At a hotel room. Okay. Um, when we were in Kingston. Yeah. And um. The couch doesn't look anything like that or anything like that. <laughs> um, and, um, but basically, like, this is me with one foot on the earth. Right. And then the sky. Yeah, I noticed right? there's the galaxy behind you, right? Yeah. <laughs> and no, my arm is not green. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I but just, you're an artist, so there's paint all over you, right? <laughs> that's right. But it's not even, like, I just... I don't know. I really like this painting. This yeah, is my one of my favorites. I like how I um, it's it's funny how after I finish a painting, mm -hmm. um, I'll be like, wow, I did that. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> like it, it's kind of like it just comes out of me. I don't know. It yeah, just comes out, goes off the canvas or whatever I'm making. Um, and then it, it and it becomes a beautiful project of art that yeah. you've got and yeah. yeah you've got a huge like catalog quote unquote yeah. of pieces you've done I've, I've I, I think I've done 150 maybe 200 close to 200 paintings this year wow you are a machine <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure COVID helped because we were all forced to be inside. So yeah, yeah, to stay I'm busy. Just, actually, <laughs> at the beginning of COVID, I didn't do paint at all because I I couldn't couldn't concentrate. But right. It was all very. I think everybody had that feeling of kind of like, what the hell? Yeah. You know, what's, going what's going on? on? Yeah. And you know, like you get all these like. Oh well, I have all this time now. I can do this or I can do that, but you end up doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, right? and so, two months go by and you still haven't done this or that. <laughs> yeah, so oh, I better get my brush out and start painting, or I'm painting something. 
that's basically what I've been doing. Right, so, right. But yeah, I mean, like these are a hundred, right? So mm -hmm. this is a hundred. Yeah. Um, like these are all individual paintings. Yes. And then I put them all together. Yeah, and I, I was wondering how that would go. And I was like, I love the finished work. Because like every day on Facebook, you would post it a new eye painting. So each one of these individual paintings went up on their own. Yeah. And then you sort of glued them all together, for lack of a better term. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't really, I did just kind of went rad randomly. I didn't go by day. Oh, OK. Um, so I day one isn't day necessarily one. the top one. And, no. Right. Where is day one? <laughs> I don't remember. I know this is day 100. Oh, OK. There was another one. Oh, no, not that. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, there it is. Way up there. Oh, OK. That's, That's day one. one yeah. Right beside the turtle there. Yeah. Yeah, and this is 100. Is so you started and ended with an eye. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they're, they're both the same person almost. It looks like they could be matching eyes. <laughs> they are my eyes. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Excuse me. But again, you know, like I do a lot of my stuff based on um, expressions and stuff. Like you, you look at yourself in the mirror or, or take a picture and... <laughs> right yeah and then you can see how your face works and or how our face would work and that kind of stuff so right right i do do a lot of that stuff that's amazing yeah well i call you the amazing sarah win for a reason <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and where can we find you sarah win um well i don't have any email i'm not an email address i don't have a website Okay. I do, but it's really old, so I don't want you to go there. Okay. Um, <laughs> until I figure out how to fix it. Okay. But um, you can email me. Um, okay. At sarahwin2 uh, okay. gmail.com. Or Wynn2. you can look at my Instagram. Okay. And it is um, like my paintings. All right. <laughs> I like, like that. Pretty, pretty, yeah, it's kind of funny that it actually worked out that way. Um, and then um, on my card, it has the phone number too. So yeah. if somebody needs to call me. To. On the back, it says, dream it, paint it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do. And so that's kind of weird, actually. That's yeah. what I'm going to be doing my next show. Yeah. On streaming. That's interesting that those two coincide now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're bringing your dreams out of your head and you're putting it onto paper. That should be interesting. <laughs> that should be very interesting. I look forward to that journey. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that's pretty dark. <laughs> I'm okay yeah. with dark. Yeah. <laughs> um, dark with color though, right? <laughs> that's right, lots of color. Yeah, lots of color. Well, yeah. I really appreciate you being here um, and showing off some of your work. Um, I wanted the world to know who you are and what you're all about. Um, so again, thanks so much for coming in and doing this video. And I'll let you know when it goes up on Facebook. It should be in the next day or two. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay.